I grew up and uh, we were raised Catholic. I had always read the Bible uh, starting when I was 12. And um, Ryan continued to read the Bible after I had kind of backed off it a little bit. And he kept learning and kept learning. And he researched and uh, he came to believe. And then a few weeks later, he stopped going to the Catholic Church and uh, he got to tell me about the Bible and uh, worked on my heart a little bit and then I ended up believing. One of the first things he told me about was uh, John th chapter 3 when uh, Jesus says you have to be born again and I didn't think of a time in my life where I had been born again. I just had always been Catholic and uh, never changed my life ever. So. There's never really a, a decision or anything I made. After we had uh, gotten married, uh, we uh, uh, talked to whatever quite a bit about going to a church. We just never really found one together. So, um, but uh, we uh, ended up coming, we got invited. So when we were uh, looking at houses, this was actually the third house that we put an offer on. We had actually started to look in other cities. And then all of a sudden this house came up on the market and when we looked at it, we just immediately put an offer on it and it was accepted after the last two offers on other houses had fallen through. And it was like God just placed us in that house next to the all's houses. We had been looking for a church together and they started inviting us here and we decided to come check it out last Easter Sunday and we've loved it, the feeling of connectedness how friendly everyone has been and we've been here ever since and it's made a huge difference in our lives being here with everyone. Growing up we went to Sunday school. Our next door neighbor drove a church bus and took us kids and my mom to Sunday school every week. I remember getting Bible studies through the mail and reading the stories and the questions and answering them and it was through that mail mail-in Bible study um, that I came to know Jesus as my Savior. I remember being in my bedroom and asking him to save me. I was 12. Oh, well, I was five years old. I had grown up in the church going to Sunday school and at five years old in Sunday school I made a decision that I was a sinner. I need to accept Jesus as my Savior, not just keep going to church. And at that point, I made a decision and asked my Sunday school teacher to help me pray and uh, to become a child of God and to accept Him as my Savior. Very beginning of this year, I mean, we both have accepted Him, we just hadn't been baptized. Uh, our uh, daughter actually beat us to it and ended up uh, getting baptized before us, but uh, uh, we both were like, you know, if we were going to do this, we wanted to do this together. Uh, you know, to show whatever that we really have accepted Jesus Christ as our personal Savior. The church told us that baptism was the first step in obedience towards Christ and it doesn't have anything to do with salvation other than just being a picture. So I figured uh, I did want to do something for God and I thought that uh, taking the first step as he had laid it out would be uh, the best way to go forward. After my dad passed away, I came to grace um, regularly and I, it was the the first service where there was a baptism um, I remember I was sitting next to Karen Shaw and I asked her what do I need to do to be baptized I, I really felt like that was something I wanted and, and needed to do I definitely have seen God growing me I have got to the point where um, I was having just a, a really rough time and I just I gave everything over to him I, I couldn't do it on my own, and I knew that. And uh, it, just the peace that came was just amazing. In, in, in my work, you can get frustrated really fast. Uh, but it's just, I, I don't feel like I'm the same person anymore. It just, uh, it just feels like if there's something whatever that's uh, frustrating or bothering me, it just kind of, it, it just kind of gets swept and blown away just because I, I know I have Jesus in my heart. Um, I think it's been, we've loved being here. Having that fellowship with other believers has made a big difference in our lives. And I know like being here and fellowship with other believers every Sunday and Wednesday, it kind of sets the tone for my week. Like I come on Sunday and I'm really refreshed and then halfway through the week I get to be refreshed again fellowshipping with other believers. And uh, it kind of, if I miss a service, it kind of feels like it throws off my week. 
but being here and learning and fellowshipping makes me want to continue to learn, be in my Bible more, be praying and more intimate with God as I continue to fellowship and to learn more about Him here. I had always uh, considered myself Christian, but uh, as being Catholic, but uh, just believing I think is the only difference. I mean, it's what separates somebody who believes in uh, you know the rosary beads and the confessional booth and or just whatever other kind of denomination trusting in baptism or anything like that and uh, just to focus on that it is only by believing and that uh, there's no works involved.